Here's how to use Genmoji on your iPhone. Now, if you're on your iPhone and you want to generate your own emoji images, I'm gonna walk you through the entire process. But first, hit the subscribe button down below. It really helps me out. Thanks, guys. Now, the very first thing we'll do is head into your settings here. And from here, we need to tap on General and About. Now, you can see at the very top is Model Name. You need an iPhone 15 or an iPhone 16 for this to work. So iPhone 15, iPhone 16 Pro, 16 Pro Max, any of those will work, but you can't have an iPhone 14 or earlier. And the other requirement is you have to go back and tap on software update, and you need to make sure you have iOS 18.2 or later. So if you haven't upgraded already, just upgrade to the latest iOS operating system. Now, after you've done both of those things, the next step is we need to turn on Apple Intelligence. So here you can see under the action button is Apple Intelligence. You can see at the very top, it is turned on. Keep in mind, when you do turn it on, it does download Apple Intelligence files to your iPhone. So you might need to plug it in and connect it to Wi-Fi to get all those files downloaded. Now, after we've done all of that to set it up, we can open up a message app here and I'm gonna tap on just my name and the little plus at the bottom left. Now, from here, you can see Image Playground is one version of it where you can create your own images, but essentially that's a bit different from creating your own emojis. To create your own Genmoji or emojis, we're gonna tap on the little emoji icon at the bottom left. And now you can see describe an emoji and at the top right is the little emoji icon with the plus. So let's tap on it and it says start with a few words or phrase that best describes your idea. So I'm going to say something like a unicorn on a ice cream cone and hit done. Now it'll create this random thing you can see unicorn ice cream code, it will start basically generating what that looks like. You can always keep swiping over and it will just keep generating new ones and new variations. Now let's say I like this one. I can tap on the three dots to the top right of it. I can copy this. I can save it to my stickers. I can add a caption, all of those things. But if I wanted to add this to this text message, I'll just hit add at the top right. And just like that, I can hit send. It's created my own emoji or Genmoji. Now, when you're in your emojis, you can swipe all the way to the left here, pass all of the recent emojis that you've used. And here you can see any of your Genmojis that you have created in the past. You can always tap and hold on them to delete them, create a new emoji. You can even rearrange these Genmojis if you kind of want a different order of them, of course. And then you can always send those again and create new ones as you think of new Genmojis to create. I hope this helps. If it did, hit the like button down below and leave a comment if you still have any questions. Thanks, guys.